hey fam welcome back to my channel and if you know me you'll know that over the last decade at least i've been a fitness enthusiast my journey like a lot of others i'm sure you can relate has a lot of ups and downs i've tried a number of things and again 30 pounds 30. 30. And it could be for a myriad of reasons, changing environment, different kind of food, and also the fact that honestly, I just was not as consistent in the gym as I should and should have been and used to be. So I tried a lot of different things. And one of the things I tried earlier this year to try to just fast track that weight loss, because I mean, immediate gratification is as appealing to me as any other person. So I did a 21 day juice fast, juice cleanse, juice detox, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. So for that 21 days, all I had was liquid. So I'd have maybe like four to five 32 ounce jars of fruit juices or vegetable juices. And that's all I, that's all I ate for the 21 days. So sometimes it was like mostly like melon and ginger. I did a lot of lemon. Lemon was a staple. It was in almost everything as well as ginger. I did um, greens, kale, cucumber, lettuce, um, you name it. I tried a bunch of things and I discovered something that I never thought I would have liked because prior to starting the juice fast, I watched tons of video. And one of the recipes that I picked up that I really like was sweet potato juice. Who knew that you could do sweet potato? It tastes so good. Like it almost tastes like a um, sweet potato pie. And what I do is I add apple and cinnamon and trust me, try it and thank me later. But anyways, I digressed. So I did that for 21 days and over the period of 21 days, I lost 11 pounds. That was great, that's beautiful, because if I could lose 11 pounds in 21 days, imagine if I did 42 days, I could have lost 22 pounds, and I'd be, you know, on the way back to where I want to be. So that was great, I was happy, I was excited. And while I was on the juice fast, honestly, I never got hungry, I felt really great, I had a lot of energy, and I exercised for the entire time, and I guess I kind of ensure that I didn't get hungry, so I just eat like on a clock. Well, not eat, have my juice on a clock. And like 32 ounces is a lot. That's probably like a gallon per day. And I was still drinking water and having tea. So anyways, juice fast ended. And here's where the problem came in. Maybe like a month or two after I finished the fast, I gained 21 pounds. This is the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life. So not only did I regain that 11 pounds, but I gained an additional 11 pounds. Oh sh**, here we go again. And this is the reason why I cannot, and I would not recommend anyone to do a juice fast if you're not on a strict diet. This was a definite wake up call for me. So while juice fast may be great and help some people, I do believe if you don't have a strict post fast diet, it will be tough. And it, for me, it was just a lesson on the pitfall of quick fixes. I've always believed in the slow and steady approach, but I mean, 30 pounds up, I was willing to try pretty much everything. But I've learned my lesson. Ha! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Now I'm back on track. I'm taking the slow, steady, consistent approach, just focusing on my overall long-term health and fitness. I don't know if anyone else has had a similar experience. If you have, I'd love to hear. Just drop a comment below and let's talk about it. Sometimes we're trying to take a shortcut, but it ends up being an even longer detour. Also remember that what works for one person might not work for you. This is just my personal journey. You just need to listen to your body. Of course, consult a professional. I'm not a professional. I'm just telling you about my experience. Always prioritize your long-term health over short-term gains. I'm sharing this video not as a critique for Juice Fast, but just to say that, guys, we didn't gain the weight overnight. Like, so why are we trying to force our bodies? I know this is something that a lot of us are trying to do. We may be hitting a wall, but 
the sooner we learn to respect the process understand ourselves and build a better relationship with food we'll be well on our way i have a lot more tips to give and i'll share those in future videos that every challenge is a stepping stone nothing is easy but if you keep chipping away at it we'll start to see progress over time it's been at least two yeah it's been a good year and a half and for the first time I'm starting to see consistent results. It's slow, but it's steady. And you know what? I'll take it. If you can resonate with my story, let me know by showing your love, giving it a thumbs up, commenting below, and subscribe to my channel. Later.